First, uh, good evening once again for the PV systems and efficiency significance analysis. In the previous uh, discussion, we discussed about the device itself, how can we promote the efficiency with the fabrication aspect and the design aspect as well. That we discussed uh, our previous uh, presentation. So here is a more uh, interface with the system energy of PVs that how it should be suitable for the planning, designing and uh, implementation for getting electricity. So here we discussing about the locations as actually the location uh, is very important for solar insulation. You know that uh, the southern part of the world uh, solar irradiation is very high. That means more intense uh, solar radiation is there. So definitely there are uh, efficiency of this panel should be higher if the same panel installed in the northern pole that definitely should be lower efficiency compared to the southern area so here we should uh, think about a particular location wherever we decided to install the uh, panels so our location we consider the florida where the average solar insulation is five kilowatt hour per meter square per day so it is the location exact as a galvanostone florida you say of the higher solar insulation. And then the thing is actually how higher insulation impact on the uh, power, power generation. It is more supportive to increase performance of solar cell. Uh, it is a uh, residential building we consider of 25 meter square space available for PV installations. And the uh, polysilicon panels should be installed with the back surface field contact uh, types and efficiency around 14% will be discussed technical all details in later. So the load calculation is the first that how the household will be supportive uh, for the panel installation to, uh, to provide the power for the grid connected PV systems. So here is the appliances of the household. So you consider here at the load calculations for this uh, 10 LED panels consumption 0.5 kilowatt hours. For this uh, RF heater for cooking is actually 0.8 kilowatt hours. For the washing machine actually 0.5 kilowatt hours per day or actually per day. On electric heater about 1.5 kilowatt hour per day air conditioner on HP capacity about 3.7 kilowatt hour per day. Then on freezer actually 400 watt capacitor is done very efficient. It's only consume on 0.5 kilowatt hour per day. So total consumption of electric power is around 8.2 kilowatt hours. So if so, then the yearly consumption, how much it should be multiplied with 365, it is around 3000 kilowatt hours consumption. So the annually 3000 kilowatt hour is a uh, power required, but there is some uh, uh, regulation and also the local uh, insulation as we discussed before is actually 5 kilowatt per meter square per day. And the uh, system overall efficiency considered 80% of the regulated efficiency and the local regulation for installation uh, personnel. So they can uh, allow only 120% capacity to install that can be supported by the grid connected systems. So the 120% capacity of 3000 kilowatt hours should be 3600 kilowatt hour. And then the 80% efficiency, we need to install about 3600 kilowatt hour of 80%, it's total required around 4500 kilowatt hours. <clears throat> then power <clears throat> calculation of the panels, say the rated energy, panel required actually 4000 kilowatt hour per, per 600, 365 days. So each day we required around 12.3 kilowatt hour. So the rated area we required actually 12.3 kilowatt hour per uh, day and with the insulation of this uh, radiation is 5 kilowatt hour per meter square per day. So it is around uh, 2.5 meter square effective panel area required for this power uh, generation of 12.3 kilowatt hours per day. So standard irradiance of the solar or the solar insulation is actually 1000 watt per meter square. So standard power required for 2.5 meter squares. 
is around uh, 2.5 kilowatt uh, mix power is required for this household. So in that case, uh, 2.5 kilowatts or uh, 2,500 watt per <clears throat> power required. And the location we just told you earlier that it is actually Galvin Stones, Florida, so five to 5.5 kilowatt per meter square per day insulation. And the building surface area is about 25 meter square. So the building mounted polysilicon panels we installed of the panels, this panel surface area is around 1.1 meter width and 1.6 meter height. So it is 1.8 meter square of this panel and it can provide 140 watt per meter square resonated power by the back surface field contact of polysilicon panels. So the efficiency of the polysilicon module should be 140 watt per meter square and 100% divided by input power as in solar insulation 1000 watt per meter square. It is around 14% for standard condition means actually 25 degree Celsius and 1000 watt meter square irradiation. So the location and sizing if we consider the solar modules of silicon polysilicon uh, device. So the sizing of the panel required uh, we know that polysilicon, we already declared that the standard is 140 watt per meter square uh, power ratings. So the panel area we required for providing 2.5 kilowatt power or 2500 watt power by the east panel of 140 watt meter square. We required the effective area of the panel is 18 meter square. So 18 meter square divided by this panel area of 1.8 meter square should require around 10 panel is required to providing 2.5 kilowatt power. So this is the standard of 14% efficiency. If the efficiency to some extent we can uh, develop by the design or uh, advancement of the solar photovoltaic, you know, it is gradually increasing the efficiency that actually lessening the panel purchasing or panel cost. So in that case, if increasing 20% efficiency, so it should be effective now the per panel 160 watt per meter square instead of earlier 140 watt per meter square. In that situation for the same power providing 2.5 kilowatt uh, uh, power 168 watt per meter square only require 15 meter square effective panel area. So for 15 meter square of 1.8 meter square is panel surface area, it's required around eight panels for providing the 2.5 kilowatt power of the household of Calvin Stone, Florida USA of 25 meter square uh, surface area of the household. And that's all from the location impact, uh, device impact, efficiency impact, and the consideration of sizing and uh, the loading effect of this uh, house. That's all from my side. Thank you.